Hey everybody, I was able to pick up a pair of the 3060 Ti's yesterday. Got a quick overclock that I did last night. Just figured I'd mess with it a little bit more today, see if I can get anything better. Top card here, that's running the desktop right now. We are going to work on this card. One running desktop is the Founders Edition. It actually works really good. It gets a little bit quicker than the Gigabyte when it's not recording desktop not trying to make a video but yeah so we're gonna mess with the gigabyte here this is the gigabyte eagle but i really like this founders really digging it uh, i like the design of the founders it's like a blower card and a double fan all in this all in the same one so it's kind of a cool design with the two fans like that with the pass through on the back one but anyway so we're gonna mess with this card see what we can uh see if we can get a little bit better numbers so we're just gonna go Open this guy up here. Just go to 100 power. Why not? I tried going a little bit quicker or a little bit higher on the memory. Uh, I was able to get it up to like 1300, but uh, I was getting a lot of the hardware errors on that. Uh, backed it down to 12. Still got like one hardware error an hour. So I got it down to this 1100 and it ran. Ran all night. No errors. So I think it's pretty safe. And the shares were pretty equal. I noticed that uh, when it was too high, the accepted shares were way off, kind of like what it looks now with the desktop recording right now. So it was kind of like that, way off. So it was a little bit closer. So if you push them too hard, it may look okay, but your shares aren't going to be submitted correctly. So yeah, we're at 100 power. Let's get that copied over here. Let it sit for a minute. I always keep track of my core clocks where everything is. 199 watts really no change so that's good yeah this settled in at 1725 knock it down to 50 that's where our core just tanks a lot of times people just you know crank the core all the way all the way back for eth mining but you do need some some core to keep keep hashing away but the less core you have just kind of gives a little bit more power for the memory and stuff like that to do what it needs to do um, so if you go too low like this, it's just not going to be able to do the work it needs to do. Memory is just as important as, as core on these. Let's take this guy up to 55. So our core is coming back up a little bit here. Still a bit too low to, to get work done. We could put that at zero, but it might not. Power level just might be too low to get any work done. Not really changing it, so... Yeah, I call that 690. All right, so we're at 109 watts now. Getting 53. Again, we're just watching this second card here that's not running desktop, so. 109 watts, 53, 79. Core clock, 6, yeah. Call it 675, close enough. And that's at 55% power. Give that a save. So now let's get up to... We already did 60, so let's... Just do 65. There. So that's... So here, we'll go back down. 55. Watch our clock here. Just tank. So there's our... Our limit, so 55 is too low. You might even be able to, you know, if you really want to get perfect at it. Try 56. It's going up a little bit. You could find that perfect setting if you want. I usually try to find just a generic setting that works with if I have multiple cards. Just so I can just apply it to all of them and it'll work good enough. Core still kind of stuck down there. So there we go. So our the lowest we can go is 59 before that clock there will kick in. So let's put that in here. 59 power level. Works great. So that might, you know, the other card here could need 60. So, um... I just usually, when I'm ETH mining, I try to find that lowest um, power level that 
doesn't kill the core. And that'll get you where you need to be. So I, I'm, I'm digging this 59. Um, once I'm done recording, I'll try it on the other card. You know, maybe they both, you know, just set them both at 60. Call it a day. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say that's our winner right there. 117 watts at 60. So, yeah. So that's some uh, ETH mining on the 3060 Ti. Later.